Finally some tips for the Doble and or A Mark II, dual VCA and digital envelope generators. The Doble and or, or, Doble and or A, a 19 HP module of exceptional character with 150 milliampere of power consumption. The Doble and or A was designed specifically for, dual envelope generator with voltage control curve shaping, dual linear VCA, slew generator, but the module is so flexible with all available controls, it can offer much more. Clot generator, LFO and modulation. Cross modulation between VCA. Envelopes can become a utility VCA while in slew mode. Cross modulation between four channels. Now let's take a look at the front panel. The Doble and or A Mark II has two identical sections. Section A, the upper section and the lower section, section B. Each envelopes are fully equipped with knobs, sliders, selectable modes, buttons, and inputs. Each envelopes have three outputs, and separate outputs for each VCA, and a mixed output is also available. All other jacks are inputs. Each section has its own VCA full of features and control, and the VCA drone sliders to complicate things a bit. Okay, enough talk, let's manipulate the module a bit, shall we? Envelope Generator and its Basic Features The Doble and or A Mark II offers a lot of control. We will try to go step by step to understand how flexible this module can be. First we will reset every sliders and knobs off section A, but we will turn the envelope amounts knob of the VCA section to adjust how much the envelope will affect its corresponding VCA, then use the mixed output of both VCA, send any audio source to the VCA input, and send a trigger to the envelope's trigger input, send any sequence and adjust the attack and decay sliders. The big knob will adjust the curve of the envelope, from logarithmic, to linear, to exponential. The mode button will select between three modes, attack decay mode, sustain mode, and slew mode, but for now we will forget about slew mode and focus on attack, decay, and sustain mode. The attack and decay amount can be controlled with incoming CV. We will send an LFO to the envelope CV ins jack. The attenuverter will set which direction you want the CV to go. And the destination button will select which parameter will be effect, or both of them. The curve of the envelope can also be controlled by CV with the shape CV input. For your needs, the Doble and or A Mark II also provides you with additional envelopes outputs to send anywhere into your patch. A variable output and a fixed positive 0 to 7 volt output. The variable output is controlled with the attenuverters knob. The variable output will give you negative signal. You can attenuate and you can invert the signal. And right above those jacks is the clock output, but we will go through this later. The Doble and or A Mark II can also be a very good tool for percussive patches.
This is just a quick example on how easy the module find its place with other percussion modules. All its features, outputs and input controls will give you plenty of options to your workflow. Each VCA has its own output, but for now we will use the mixed out. Send any audio signal to the input. Make sure the X mod and the envelope amounts knobs are closed. The VCA drone slider will open the VCA manually. As the LED illuminates, it indicates how the signal goes through the VCA. Earlier we used the VCA with its corresponding envelope. But now let's operate with external signal. Let's patch an LFO. The CVN will let you operate with external signal. Turning the attenuverter in the positive range, while the VCA drone slider is closed, we'll open the VCA. The complete opposite is now possible. Open the VCA drone slider and turn the attenuverter in the negative range. Adjust carefully the drone slider and the attenuverter, cause clipping and distortion can happen. Now let's operate with an envelope from another module. Try different adjustments of the slider and knob for the results you need. I want another track to the mix. I want it now. Now we will try to use the section B. This tune feels familiar. Let's adjust both envelopes. I'm so sorry guys. I almost forgot something very important. One of the Dobel and Ore's superpower is to use the VCA with both the envelope and external CV. You can try different settings with the slider and both a 10 uverter. Keep in mind that negative signal will cancel the positive one. So you can use this feature for modulation purpose. Send envelopes, LFOs or audio rate signals to the CV and, and experiment different combination. So far, we've learned that we can send a signal to the VCA input. We can operate the signal with its corresponding envelope. We can cross-modulate with the opposite VCA and we can add an extra signal to the VCA in to complicate things a bit.
But there's another secret beneath all the Doble and Ore's features. But before we reveal this secret, we got more study to do. The interface buttons and secret modes. Now it's time to learn all the buttons and secret modes that they can give you access. On the left, the cycle button will make the envelope repeat over and over like an LFO. This LFO can run at audio rate. So let's plug the envelope output directly. It may not be fast enough to use it as an oscillator, but it will be an excellent modulation source. We already know that the mode button let you select between three modes. Attack Decay Mode, Sustain Mode, and Slew Mode. But the mode button is the key to the secret modes of the Doble and Ore Mark II. If you want to augment the length of the envelope, hold down the mode button and push the destination button. When this mode is accessed, the mode LEDs becomes inverted. To get out of double length mode, just repeat the combination buttons. Two other shape curves are also available. To access them, just hold down the mode button and push the clock button on the right. The oscilloscope will show perfectly the curve shapes of the signal. When the curve knobs is at the center point, in both mode they will be linear. You can combine double length mode and the alternative curves. And the last secret mode. The Doble and Ore Mark II can let you trig its envelope manually. Hold down the mode button and push the cycle button, and you'll trig the envelope for one cycle. Now it's time to talk about the clock out button. Three colors will indicate the settings of the clock output. This feature can be handy if you want to sync or to trig other modules. Red color stands for end of decay. Green color stands for end of attack. And orange color stands for both end of attack and decay. You can see a blink in the LED button each time a trig is released. But let's patch a simple hi-hat for this demonstration. Red will trig at the very end of the decay. Orange will have two trigs per cycles. And green will trig at the very end of the attack phase. The clockouts can become very useful in LFO mode. Send clock signal to clock divider or logic modules, or percussion or anything you want to trig. Clue generator and clue BCA. The Doble and Ore Mark II can be used as a slew generator. For now we will use the section B as a VCA, and use the upper section as a slew generator. We will connect the envelope's output to the 1 volt per octave of the Hertz donut. And we connect the CV signal to be slewed in the envelope's trig input. The attack and decay sliders will control the rise and fall of the signal. Curve shape knob will act like some sort of pitch bend wheel or to transpose the CV signal. The rise and fall can be controlled with incoming CV. This works just like the envelope mode.
have prepared more layers with my other double and ore that you can't see cause it's out of screen. Let's add them just for the fun of it. Okay, now, here's another trick with the slew mode. Just like the slew generator of the King Slender, the Double and Ore Mark II can have its slew generator used like a utility VCA. Although it may not be as clean as the slewed VCA of the King Slender, it have its own dirty characteristic to it. Plug any audio signal in the envelope's trig input and use the envelope's output, not the VCA out. Now if you augment the fall of the slew, the signal will stay so high it won't be audible. Prepare the attenuverter in the negative range so it will shut the fall of the slew. We will use the envelope of section B and now our slew will start acting like a VCA. Now let's start a sequence while we make some adjustments. Adjust the attack and decay of your envelope, and find the right spot of the slewed VCA with the rise and fall, and its proper CV destination. The curve knob is also very important, as it may act like an attenuator, and may even add some dirt to the signal. Even if this slewed VCA may not be as clean as the VCA you'd expect, this brings the Double and Ore Mark II to a new level. Cause now you have two built-in VCA and two slewed VCA, for a total of four. And if you remember that the two VCAs can cross-modulate each other. Now the slewed VCA signal can modulate its corresponding VCA. And this brings us to what I call Extreme Cross Modulation. Okay, let's see the cross modulation possibilities. We can have a signal with a slewed VCA. A signal in the VCA input that can be modulated by its CVN. Our slewed VCA can cross modulate the modulated VCA signal. So now let's say we have three signals that are parts of the modulation, and this only for one section. We can achieve the same thing with the other section. And we can make them cross-modulate each other with the XMOD knob. For those who like droning with their modulars, it can be a very powerful module. Although extreme cross-modulation may not be the best melodic approach, it can be fucking cool to experiment with it. Why not give it a try for some melodic chaos through extreme cross-modulation? And after that we'll experiment with droning a bit. Thank you.
Okay, enough with that. Let's start some textures for a drone patch. For this drone patch, I used the two VCA outputs separately and filtered them. I might as well have taken the two outputs of the smooth signals and sent them to other effects modules. The Double Andor A Mark II is way more than just a dual envelope generator and VCA. It can generate envelopes, slew signals, clock generator, cross modulation, up to four VCAs with the slewed VCAs. It can also be a good LFO and modulation source. It can easily cross modulate its signals. All those features with the module by itself. I may have forgotten to mention that the expander will bring all this to a next big step. The part 2 of this tutorial will cover up everything we need to know about this expander. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I gotta go. I got extreme cross-strangulation to do, and some torture droning. <laughs>